Hi, this is Connie from Pixality Design, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use MindBody's branded web tools to put scheduling widgets on your Squarespace website. All right, so let's get started with adding a widget to your website. So once you get logged into the branded web manager for your MindBody account, you'll be looking at a screen like this, and it'll probably have a few extra little tutorials here that you can watch or you can skip and just listen to what I'm gonna tell you here. So you've got three different options up here. You have a widgets tab, a links tab, and site settings. For right now, for this video, we're just gonna click on the widgets tab, and we're gonna look at how to put a schedule on your website. So you're just going to go to create new widget and these are all the different widget types that you have. If you have a class that you, what you need is a, um, so people can sign up for a class, you're going to go with a schedule widget. That's the most common here. The staff list widget I don't usually use. The registration widget I use if you're talking about registering for like workshops or camps or something that's a one-time thing, then that's going to be a registration widget. Prospect widget I don't really use. Enrollment widget I do use, again, for like a teacher training or something that um, is a, a longer period time thing. Uh, class list widget I don't usually use. An appointment widget I use sometimes. Um, if you offer one-to-one -one appointments, um, that is an option too. It's not the greatest um, widget type, but it is a possibility that you can use the appointment widget also. So for this one, we're going to click the schedule widget, and we need to name it. So we're going to put... Uh, our class schedule and you're pretty much naming this so that you remember it you don't have to display this title um, but that's so that you know which one it is you're going to click create widget so then you're looking at all the options that you have for that widget so there's two different um, under view there's two different things here there's the mind body classic and there's the narrow mobile. Um, those are the, the main ones that I use. You can use the calendar view, but it's not real user friendly. And then the mind body classic group by class type can get pretty bulky too. There's kind of extra lines that give categories in there. So I usually use the narrow mobile or the mind body classic. In this case, we're going to use the classic. Um, and you can choose how, how many days you want to display and when the first day you want it to. Um, so it's so different options there. Um, we're going to have the button to say sign up for sign up for class. This custom CSS, that stands for cascading style sheets, that's how designers make things look different, change the colors and the padding and the spacings of things. Um, so if you know how to code, you can put information in there and then it'll, it'll um, display the widget and make it look a little nicer probably. Um, so that's an option you have. Um, but remember in the last video I told you to write down the hex colors for your brand colors this is where you can change all those you can um, we're going to just go ahead and drop this widget in so you can see what it looks like but then you can always come back and you can start putting your custom colors in here and you just type there and you can type in the, um, the what what color you want and it'll it'll customize it there for right now i'm just going to leave it all as default um, because uh, they're mostly black and white and uh, we, you'll just get a good good idea there of what they look like. Um, you can go into advanced options here if you want to start playing around with the things you want to hide, the things you want to show. If you want to filter out by different class types or by different instructors and stuff, you have options to do that right there. So once you get down there, you're going to hit, click Save. And then you're going to come all the way back down to the bottom. And this is the um, code that you want. So I'm showing you how to put it on a Squarespace website today. So we're going to just cut and paste this code right here. If you use WordPress, you can install the plugin and you can get it on your website like that. But we're going to do the Squarespace way today. So we're just going to copy to clipboard and it's going to copy all this code right there. And then we're going to go over to our website. I'm going to create a page. I'm actually just going to come down to the not link section so I can make a demo page here with the plus sign create a page. I'm just going to call it demo and keep it as a blank page and click start editing. And then I'm just going to come into the page and click over one of these little insertion points, little teardrops. And I'm looking for the code block. So you might not have scrolled all this way down before, but it's in the more section and it's right between the map and the menu. It's a code block right there. 
So then I'm going to delete what it's got in there by default, which says hello world. And I'm just going to paste that code that I just copied over from the branded web manager. Um, that's command V on a Mac to paste, or you can right click if you've got the right click enabled on your mouse and paste there. So however you paste on your computer, you can just do that. Apply, save, and then wait till the page refreshes and you should see your interactive widget right there pulled over. So you can see that it's all in gray tones. I have the links set on this website to this color, so that's why those are showing up in that color because those are links. Um, but then once you, you've got it on there, you can come back over to your branded web manager and you can put in all your color codes and you can see, you can even hit preview, but you can see what, uh, what that's going to style like and how that's going to look. Um, so you don't need to reinstall. Once you install this code one time on, on that page, it's there. So any pages you make, any changes you make to the colors, to the custom CSS here, to the information that's in your MindBody account that's displayed in that widget, it's automatically going to pull through through that code that's already in there. So you only have to, to copy from the clipboard and paste it into a code block one time and then it's in there and you can make changes and it'll automatically update. So that's how you use Branded Web for MindBody to get a schedule on your website. In the next video, I'll show you how to get buttons on as well.